Hello, MHRD community. On behalf of the entire district, welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We would like to take this opportunity to discuss some of the new procedures and protocols that we will be implementing to keep our students, staff, and community members safe as we return to school in the fall. We have put together multiple video clips to demonstrate these new procedures. Please take a few minutes to view these short, informative videos to acclimate yourself to our new procedures. In addition, we ask that for the remainder of the summer, you take the following steps to prepare for the upcoming school year. If you are planning to travel to a state with high rates of COVID-19, as identified by the state of New Jersey, please understand that you will have to quarantine for 14 days and will not be able to report to school if your travel occurred within the two weeks of the start of the school year. Practice wearing a face covering for long periods of time. It'll take some time to get used to wearing face coverings for the length of the school day. You should begin that process now. Monitor your health and practice social distancing for the remainder of the summer. If we all work together to make good choices and protect one another, we will have a better chance of getting back to a normal high school experience for us all. Enjoy the rest of your summer and stay Morris Knowles strong. And Morris Hill strong. All students and staff members will be required to wear face coverings at all times while in the building. CDC guidelines outlines the following steps to properly wear a face covering. Wash your hands before putting on your face covering. Put it over your nose and mouth and secure it under your chin. Fit it snug against the sides of your face but make sure you can breathe easily. Face coverings help slow the spread of COVID-19 when combined with social distancing. When students enter the building this year, they will utilize various entrances. These different entrances and egress routes will provide avenues for increased social distancing. All students coming to school riding a bus or van will be dropped off in the back of the building by the academy building. Upon exiting the bus or van, students will walk on the sidewalk, down the steps, and enter the building utilizing the doors located by the wood shop. All senior drivers will park in the senior parking lot. Upon exiting the car, students will walk on the sidewalk parallel to the tennis courts. They will then proceed to the doors located by the auxiliary gym and the band room and enter the building. All students coming to school with a parent or guardian will be dropped off in the front circle of Morris Hills High School. Parents and guardians will be allowed to enter the front circle for drop-off purposes. Upon exiting the car, students will walk to the gym foyer doors and enter the building. All walkers will also utilize the gym foyer doors. All junior drivers will park on the junior hill. Upon exiting the car, students will walk through the back gate and the back parking lot and head toward the academy building. Students will then walk down the steps and enter the building utilizing the doors located by the wood shop. When students enter the building this year, they will utilize various entrances. These different entrances and egress routes will provide avenues for increased social distancing. All students coming to school riding a bus or van will be dropped off in front of the building by the general office doors. Upon exiting the bus or van, students should enter through the main doors, remaining socially distanced. All senior drivers will park in the senior parking lot or on Knoll Drive and enter the building through the flagpole entry doors. All junior drivers will park on the Junior Hill on Knoll Drive and enter the building through the flagpole entry doors. All students coming to school with a parent or guardian should be dropped off at the staircases in the senior lot 
and enter the building through the flagpole entrance. Administrators and staff members will conduct daily visual screenings of students as they enter the building. These screenings will ensure that all students and staff members are wearing face coverings and not exhibiting any known symptoms of COVID-19. Upon entering the building, students will walk to their designated staging areas by grade level and remain there until the start of the instructional school day. Once in the staging areas, students are asked to social distance Students will not have access to their lockers. Seniors will report to gyms three and four. Juniors will report to the auditorium. Sophomores will report to the cafeteria. Freshmen will report to gyms one and two. Staggered dismissal times will take place from these designated areas to begin the instructional day. Students will be directed by a staff member to leave the staging area and begin walking to block one or five to begin the school day. This will assist in adhering with social distancing guidelines. At the conclusion of the school day, we will once again have a staggered dismissal to ensure social distancing. All students will be required to leave school grounds at the end of the school day. Families will be responsible for transporting students back to campus for fall athletics and activities. Administrators and staff members will conduct daily visual screenings of students as they enter the building. These screenings will ensure that all students and staff members are wearing face coverings and not exhibiting any known symptoms of COVID-19. Upon entering the building, students will walk to their designated staging areas by grade level and remain there until the start of the instructional school day. Once in the staging areas, students are asked to social distance students will not have access to their lockers. Seniors will report to the gym. Juniors will report to the freshman cafeteria. Sophomores will report to the auditorium. And freshmen will report to the gym. Staggered dismissal times will take place from these designated areas to begin the instructional day. Students will be directed by a staff member to leave the staging area and begin walking to block one or five to begin the school day. This will assist in adhering with social distancing guidelines. At the conclusion of the school day, we will once again have a staggered dismissal to ensure social distancing. All students will be required to leave school grounds at the end of the school day. Families will be responsible for transporting students back to campus for fall athletics and activities. Directional signage will be posted in hallways, stairwells, and other common areas to assist in the movement of students between blocks during the instructional day. Students are asked to stay to the right at all times when walking in the hallways and the stairwells. Students should not walk down the middle of the hallways and are reminded to socially distance while walking. Directional signage will be posted in hallways, stairwells, and other common areas to assist in the movement of students between blocks during the instructional day. Students are asked to stay to the right at all times when walking in the hallways and the stairwells. Students should not walk down the middle of the hallways and are reminded to socially distance while walking. Only one student at a time will be permitted to utilize the restroom facility. Staff members will be positioned outside each restroom to monitor usage and ensure social distancing guidelines are followed by students waiting to utilize the restroom facility. While students are waiting to enter the restroom, they are asked to please stand on the designated mark positioned on the floor. Please be aware that there will be a limited amount of restroom facilities available for usage. This will allow for proper cleaning and social distancing. Visitors will not be permitted into school buildings. 
Only individuals with approved scheduled appointments will be able to enter the facility. Approved individuals will be required to wear a face covering and have their temperature checked upon entry. Parents and guardians dropping off items for their child will be greeted at the door by a staff member and asked to place the student belongings in a designated cubby bin for students to pick up during the school day. Parents and guardians should label all items that are being dropped off for a student before entering the school with the student's name and grade level. This process will help to ensure a contactless drop-off and pickup. We ask that parents drop off student belongings only when necessary to maintain a safe school environment. Your typical class from this year will look very different. Traditionally, our classrooms have anywhere from 24 to 30 desks in them, spaced close together in either rows or pods. All classrooms have been redesigned to ensure the safety of students and teachers. Desks have been reduced by half in each classroom. The remaining desks have been placed six feet apart to ensure social distancing. When entering and exiting classrooms, students should be mindful of the setup of the classroom and students are not to move any desks. The Morris Hills Regional District has developed protocols to safely transport students and bus staff members to and from school each day. Transportation will be provided to and from school with buses at reduced capacities. Students are reminded to socially distance at their bus stop while waiting for the bus to arrive. Students will be assigned seats to ensure that social distance guidelines are being followed. Each bus will be staffed by a driver and aide to supervise social distancing and to conduct daily visual screenings of students entering the bus. These screenings will ensure that all students are wearing face coverings and not exhibiting any known symptoms of COVID-19. Face coverings are required on all buses. Buses will be stocked with disposable masks for students who attempt to enter without a face covering. Hand sanitizer will also be offered at the step well. Upon arrival of the bus, students will enter the bus one at a time. Attendance will be taken by students displaying and swiping their student IDs on an installed tablet device confirming their arrival. When loading the bus, students will be seated from back to front. Once the bus arrives at school, unloading will be from front to back. Again, students will display and swipe their student IDs on the installed tablet device confirming their departure. All offices and workspaces have been outfitted with plexiglass. Hand sanitizer stations have been placed in each classroom and multiple stations have been added to common areas such as outside offices, the gymnasiums, the cafeterias, the media centers, and other large spaces. These stations are contactless and students should please refrain from touching the stations. Restrooms have been provided with paper towels and hand soap. When entering and exiting offices, please continue to be mindful of social distancing. At the conclusion of each instructional block, desks and tabletops will be disinfected during a five minute designated cleaning period. A bell will sound to initiate cleaning protocols. Students will be provided with disinfected wipes to clean their individual workstation. These wipes are safe to handle without gloves and are EPA approved. Keyboards and commonly used equipment will also be cleaned by students and teachers at the end of each class. Industrial arts, wood, metal, auto shop, and art rooms will be provided with disinfectant to spray commonly used machinery, tools, and supplies after each use. Students should bring their own reusable water bottles to school each day. Water fountains will be turned off throughout the day. Students will also be able to purchase water from vending machines. Student schedule changes will not be permitted because of the 50% cohorts that have been created. Only extenuating circumstances will be considered. In an effort to ensure proper social distancing, 
students will not be permitted to use their lockers until further notice. Students will not be permitted to use the locker rooms or team rooms throughout the instructional day. Students will not be changing for physical education classes. They should come to school on PE days wearing comfortable clothing and athletic shoes. For the 2020-2021 school year, students will have access to their schedules at 3 p.m. on August 28th.